Okie dokie. I guess we are life. So, for anyone who will join us, because obviously it's just started, so probably nobody here yet. <laughs> but we're going to continue working again today on the Rijks Museum in pixel art. And as you may be able to see, I found a reference image, which is actually a building drawing. So this image that I have behind it is actually the building um, drawing as they had it before they started making this. <clears throat> so I figured I would test what I created last time against this, um, this drawing. And I must say, I'm pleasantly surprised. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be surprised, but I am pleasantly surprised that I was not too far off my calculations and attempt in the first time. It's a little bit off. There's things are too high. Some things are a little bit uh, too low, but it was my first attempt and I didn't have reference image in the background last time. So, hey, Captain Coder, there you go. Welcome, welcome. First time in my stream, right? Good to have you. Uh, I cannot sing like you do, so I'm sorry I'm not going to greet you with a song. Uh, I just hope that you're happy with me just being happy that you're there. <laughs> uh, anyway, here's uh, my so far results of the Rijksmuseum that I have. Um, I was working on this last stream a little bit more than a week ago, and um, since that I've uh, figured out how to use reference layers in the background. So as you can see, now I found uh, an actual building drawing that they had back in the day when the Rijksmuseum was being built. Um, and I tested what I did last time against this drawing. So as you can see, I'm a little bit off in some places in the width and height of some, some areas, but not too unhappy actually about what I did last time. So, as you can see, I kind of got the dimensions right, so need to scale a bit, need to move it a little bit, but beyond that, it's pretty much uh, in the correct uh, places. So, for example, this needs to move up, because uh, behind this, um, let me put this on the other side, behind this, um, this is basically where that square part of the roof is, but it needs to be a bit higher, this is where the line needs to be, this is where that other line needs to be and so on. So these kind of things are a little bit off. But beyond that, I, I just basically roughed it. Just <laughs> without having a reference image behind it, I found my calculations not to be too bad <laughs> for such a big pixel art uh, uh, work. Because um, just for reference, my, uh, my canvas here is 1,792 pixels by 1,024. So that's pretty large for any pixel art, I would say. But let's get to, get to it. We're going to make it a little bit better this time. So I will up the opacity a little bit so I can see better what I'm doing. Otherwise, um, I don't think I have any clue what I will be doing. And I can have that. So let's do it like almost full opacity. I want to see everything I'm doing here. <clears throat> so. Without further ado, let's get to pixel arting. <clears throat> so, if you have any questions, by the way, please don't hesitate. You're always welcome to ask them to me. For me, this is all new, like pixel arting in even streaming. I'm not, <laughs> I've never been streaming in my life until I started this journey. So. Um, I am uh, going to try to do it as good as possible. Uh, so, basically, what I see here is that my line, this yellow line needs to go down a lot. So, fortunately, I figured out that I can use a little bit of trickery here. I can do marquee. And just pull this stuff down. 
that's about where it wants to go. Started streaming in December, and that's pretty short also. Yeah, yeah, I, I love it. Um, what I like most about it so far is that it's um, it's like a massive rubber ducky for me. So anything I'm doubting, I can talk to others about. And when I'm telling what I want to do, then basically I already find my own answer. Uh, you probably know that idea. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's uh, that's very. Uh, very helpful and by the way i just noticed i went the wrong way i should go up with this one and also up with this one and should add extra in between this line needs to be this line needs to be here and that line needs to be here and it needs to be wider but that's another thing <laughs> so let's start with basically putting this higher that might be smarter so there we go that way you can actually see what I'm doing there. More or less there. Doesn't have to be perfect. I know I'm a perfectionist, but to do all of this perfect is kind of uh, insane. Because, um, yeah, the, the Rijks Museum is such a dauntingly big building that <laughs> doing everything uh, on perfect lines, then uh, you're going to get yourself crazy. So I don't think I will do that, but I will try to get as close to it as possible. That was not good. I need one extra pixel. So what I'm trying to do now is at least match this to the side that actually is the side of this part of the building. So that would be about here. And then I can fill in the rest of that part again, move the roof for the other part. As the roof, of course, has another color. I already selected some basic colors that going to have details later. I will add in the windows also later. So, yeah, basically the ID is there. Um, execution was not perfect. But, yeah. Like this, all, all those things I need to get used to so bad. I keep scrolling too much. <laughs> And it's not nice, it's annoying really, but um, people have told me a lot of tools that should be handy, like use the line tool instead of use the drawing tool, but for me, I cannot help it. I kind of like the drawing tool better. It's, um, it's for me a way to do it faster, and then this is <clears throat> not so hard. So now let me create the sideline. There again, see, I keep scrolling too fast. I guess my mouse wheel is a bit too, um, what should I say, a bit too sensitive, because <laughs> I keep going everywhere. I should put the microphone a little further from my mouth, so I don't annoy you guys too much with talking too loud. Also, I usually don't talk too loud, because I don't want to wake up my kids. They are sleeping like a floor down for me. So waking them up would not be a smart idea. That would be problems. My wife put them to bed today so I could stream today. So I'm happy that she did. But um, that also means better be quiet. Not too quiet though, because you guys should understand me. always have to be careful with those kind of things that I don't fill up the entire thing because <clears throat> that is not something that I want. <clears throat> I basically have these lines gone because they have to go down. I will also have to move the bottom so let me do that. This part should go. There we go. That was just one line too much. A pixel. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm trying to have my microphone not right in my face. 
fact, I got a comment once from one of my viewers who said that um, he has a problem with his um, with his vision, uh, with his with his hearing. He has a slight hearing impaired, and if I um, have the microphone in front of my face or too close to my face, basically, um, the light that my microphone had distracted him. Well, no, I turned off my light, so that should not no longer be a problem. However, I can still annoy people when I talk too loud. So, hmm, we don't want to do that. By the way, I have been, of course, compared to Bob Ross and uh, and Gandalf. And those, those are people with soothing voices. So I want to have those voices. Let's keep it soothing and uh, relaxing. Because I want everybody to feel happy when they're in my stream. So. Let's see. Yeah, let's make some happy little pixels. Happy little tower here, happy little tower there, nice arches there, and so on and so on. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, I was very uh, surprised when somebody called me um, first Bob Ross, and then later um, I got called uh, Gandalf by uh, by another one who was watching. Like, okay, those are two very different people in the first place, but it's also two very appreciated people for me. I, I really enjoy those. I used to watch a lot of Bob Ross in my day, and um, I really enjoyed that man. He was such a good um, motivator and uh, storyteller, basically, because yeah, he would just basically make you happy. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's maybe also because I'm never late, never early either. I always arrive exactly when I mean to. So, <laughs> so yeah, that might also have something to do with it. <laughs> I see we have uh, somebody else watching. Um, if you want to say hi, that would be very nice. If not, you can also remain silent. Nobody's a obliged to do anything in this stream. You can only do whatever you want. So, just be happy and uh, basically enjoy. Um, cannot say that I'm perfect. Hey, Dramo X. I hope I am saying your name correctly. Dramo X. <laughs> following around is always uh, positive. <laughs> I welcome everyone to my stream, so whenever you want to, feel free to come and join. <clears throat> and um, if you're wondering what I'm doing, Dramax, I'm uh, creating a very daunting thing for me because I'm trying to recreate um, the Rijksmuseum that we have in the Netherlands, which is an insanely big uh, building for pixel art so yeah um, give me some time and i will probably do it i only just found out today how to use a reference image to make sure i have my lines in the correct place but i wasn't too unhappy with what i did the last time it was pretty pretty on par so let me see that line needs to go up to there so let me do that first so i can Basically concentrate on the rest after that. So that line. You go up to here. You could probably hear, I cannot sing like the captain can. <laughs> yeah, uh, I know. Uh, I, I see sometimes, I don't know if you know this guy, but Adam Yunus, uh, Adam C. Yunus, he, uh, he also does a lot of pixel art, and I see him use Figma, and that guy is like insane. He knows all the shortcuts, he's super fast. If he uses Figma, I feel like a kid that has never learned how to draw. It's really terrible. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> on the other hand, I found his uh, streams to be very interesting and very soothing also. And um, I think he's very good at explaining what he does, um, which is important. Uh, and I still cannot do shit like he does. And that's not uh, necessary either, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm a programmer, so for me, anything uh, doing pixel art or something like that, that is uh, insanely hard. And um, I've been teaching this to myself because, yeah, uh, I had somebody who would do pixel art for my game. And then he got too busy. Basically, life happened, which is okay. I mean, everybody has that, and it's normal. I'm glad he had a, a new gig, basically. He's, uh, he started a new job. The, guy, the boy was 17 years old. I mean, yeah, at a certain moment you're going to get out of school, and you lose the momentum and time that you have, and have to do other things. That, that is fine, and it's totally cool. Um, this guy is still following me though, and it's really nice that he's supportive and he wants this game to become a success, so that is also very nice. Um, yeah, life, mm, yeah. Um, mm. I, I, I used to remember what that was, uh, Captain Coder. I kind of forgot. Um, don't know what it means anymore. It, uh, Especially now that I have kids, my life has totally changed. So, whatever was life for me before, it's not the same. <laughs> so, let me pull this line down so I can actually close it off. And, yeah, gotten some nice tips about using the line tool, like I said before, but... For me, somehow it's easier to just click and finish. There you go. I, I, th I think that's easier. I don't know why people find it so much easier to do the line tool. But maybe it's also because I find the line tool incredibly confusing. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, you're on vacation. That is nice. I was on vacation last week. I went to Normandy. I can tell you, Norban Normandy is absolutely gorgeous. I uh, I will go back for sure one day, um, but it will not be now. <laughs> I can't. I don't have time. I have to work. Make sure that people here in the house have something to eat, because I'm the only one who makes money so far, which means a lot of pressure on my shoulder. <laughs> well, that is a great vacation by the way i would love to have a vacation like that just vacation to do work on my game that would be vacation for me i would want that so i would sign up for that immediately <laughs> i am uh, i'm always uh, finding that i don't have the time to do what i want to do but i guess that's uh you have no other obligations. You're alone. Your partner doesn't care if you do a lot of other things like this. Because my partner was already asking me, you're not going to do that streaming thing every day, are you? <laughs> and I uh, I kind of disagree. It's, it's fine. I mean, I have two kids. I have a wife. They also deserve my attention more than uh, than anyone else. So, uh, But yeah, I, I, I love uh, doing this. Uh, I love having feedback from you guys so um, also please let me know if you think I'm doing something stupid or if you think I'm doing something great I like hearing both I don't mind if you say I'm stupid because hey I know that there's a lot of things I do that could be much easier and much smarter and I'm 100% confident about that so um, don't feel bad if you say that what I do was not so smart. Let me there. Up to do. So, do, 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 do. Basically, what I'm doing now is making sure that I uh, I live better on the on the schematics that I found, uh, so everything looks a little bit more in um, in shape for when I'm doing the rest. 
one of the things that I forget all the time is to change the tool. <laughs> Ah, yeah. Um, well, I actually started my pixel art journey doing, um, let me see, where was it? Uh, my bakery. And that's looking like this. And I basically just recreated something I saw in a picture. Um, I have a pretty good feeling about what I see, and I can turn that in uh, into to art I guess although I never feel like an artist somehow but I used to be able to draw really really okay I mean um, I drew myself standing in front of the mirror one day so um, I guess that means I can draw right <laughs> that's one of the hardest things to do but that was 25 years ago or something like that so uh, since then pixel art is also something I've not done and I find it incredibly daunting and um, I've been working also on a drawbridge um, that I will be using in my game. Um, I turned off one part but basically it looks like this and has a duplicate on the other side. Um, I will need to have it in parts basically so I can use that in the game because that's where the, the player will learn to jump basically. Because um, my first level is going to be set in Amsterdam. Um, because we were basically living in the Netherlands and I wanted to have a personal touch. After that, my daughter, who the game is about, will step through a portal, which I also still have to figure out how to draw that in pixel art properly, and she will go into the world of the Greek mythology. That's what my game is about. My daughter's name is Gaia, and um, yeah, she will meet the goddess Gaia who needs her help, basically. So, um, yeah, just a little bit to show you what I am working on. <clears throat> and this one, I felt like, because, yeah, Amsterdam and the Rijksmuseum are basically one and one. If you don't, um, if you've never been to Amsterdam, of course, you might not know the Rijksmuseum. But if you've ever been in, in, the, in Amsterdam, chances are big, you know the Rijksmuseum. Basically, everybody does. <laughs> and... Um, yeah, I wanted to have something that actually feels this is Amsterdam. So let's hope I manage. Um, and now since I see that I also have to move this a little bit over, I better do that first, because from there I don't have to make my lines twice. By the way, if you hear some noise, oh, that's what I always forget, see? That's, um, that's, that's how you know that I'm a noob at pixel art. Uh, if you hear some noise every now and then, I'm sorry, my neighbors are working on their house and it does make a lot of noise. And I'm so sorry about it. Uh, I did turn on my noise reduction, so I hope it's not too, of too often and too much. But for me, it's annoying. They're banging on walls. They're drilling and yeah, it's um, not exactly soothing for me, <laughs> to be honest. It should be there. And now I see there's some line in there that I don't want to have. That is also annoying. I cannot stand those kind of things to fix that. Not that one. Pick the wrong one. There we go. That's better. <clears throat> I see it also has to go a little bit up. So, up, no problem. Let's do that. We'll have to also go a little bit wider, but I'll figure that out as I go. So, <clears throat> oh, wrong line. For me, that's the hardest part. Everything is so damn tiny, and after a while, your eyes hurt. <laughs> The most uh, hard part, of course, was uh, making my daughter, which fortunately the pre-work was already done by uh, the one who did my pixel art before. So I'm very happy that he did that, because um, 
least now I have a, a character model that I can use. Ay, 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 what did that do? Why on earth is that still? Ah, uh, the bottom must be open. Yep, there you go. See, that's what I always have. <laughs> I don't understand that and I never do it properly. Because basically I should think of that first and then fill things up. So, boom. <clears throat> so basically, Dramoix, you just basically followed Captain Coder, like you said, or you just uh, found my announcement on uh, on the Discord and followed me from there. It's fine either way, of course. I'm kind of wondering if for some reason it's not the same color. I don't know why I have that, but maybe because of the transparency. It doesn't look to me like it is the same color. It isn't. Or is it? I don't know. Maybe there's just a lighter line below it. Let me turn off the reference layer for one. No, it's absolutely not the same color. <laughs> uh, the captain's following you. Well. He was here before you, so <clears throat> of course it could be that he follows you, but in this case he was here before you, so then it's harder to say he followed you. Ah, well, I guess I can fix these colors later. That's not a, a big issue. I guess it uh, it is just because I uh, am on transparency. Must be the reason. He was here in spirit, huh? Well, that's perfectly fine if you're at Dragon Spirit Games. <clears throat> you cannot be in a better place than uh, at Dragon Spirit Games. You're here in spirit. Right. Um, so, this looks pretty okay. The roof, I will need to check that. Let me see. Because I don't know that it has to be high. That line also has to go up higher. <clears throat> and the same goes for that line is okay, yep. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry, I have to sometimes cough a little. Still not completely better after my uh, <coughs> yeah, health issues that I had. I went even to a lung physician for because uh, they were not sure what they were seeing on the lung picture. Fortunately, it was nothing bad or serious, but um, still got me worried for a bit. Yeah, I guess health is something you will think about, especially when you have two kids that rely on you. This part up. This is basically the roof that needs to go all the way there. Don't worry, everything like details on this will be coming later layers, so uh, I can uh, basically split that up a little bit. Quick look. Wife talking to me. Could be. My daughter slept like half an hour ago. Finally, when I started streaming, she started to sleep. I don't know if that says anything about me. <laughs> Maybe she fell asleep because I'm streaming now. It's so irritating that this is not working the way I expected. <sighs> I guess I will have to fix all that stuff when I have everything at 100% transparency again. Ah, details, details. I'm in for the details.
does somehow look like this is the correct color though. Can't stand it when things don't work the way I want it. <laughs> there you go. At least that is now the same. This looks good. This goes all the way to the roof. That's good. Uh, I have to fix this side, make it wider. So, but I didn't check yet, or did I check if this line is on the correct? I think this has to go higher than this one also. I think I checked it, but I forgot. Yeah, it has to go way higher. So both these lines go up higher, then there's like this square here that goes right up there where the statues are. So yeah, you can uh, can imagine how many details I'm going to have to make in this. I don't think I will make all of those details because that's just way too much. But I'll do my best at least to have it look like it is the Dax Museum. Okay. So, another marquee. There we go. And take this entire line off until there. And up. At least want this square to be in there as a reference. Where's my line? There's my line. Or isn't it? Yeah, there. So it should be on this line. Here we go again. Make lines. Basically, these large pixel arts are not much different than just drawing a lot of lines. That's what it comes down to. So as soon as you have them, everything else is easier. Because you get to do this and then fill it up, fill it up. Filling it up is something I can do. It also immediately means that this line has to go To connect with the other line, there we go. And hop. There we go. So, now that we have that, now yeah, we'll have some artistic freedom here with this, I guess. Because I want the sidewalk to not be curved like that. That is not something I'm going to do. I will create my arches and but not now. So by the way, if Figma is beating you Alex, you should hit it back. That is um, my advice to you. Make sure it feels the pain. Don't let it beat you. You're stronger than it is. This will go down. Cannot see where that line is. Basically here somewhere, I think. Let me see. Little up, not much, something like that. <clears throat> How's the width compared to the other one? It's too wide. Okay. Let's just do a marquee again. Take off this part. Basically fill that up with the gray. Okay, and then do the same on this side. See, it's too much. Okay. 
That is more or less where it should be. Okay. So these parts are okay. Now the right line of this block also has to be wider. That roof will have to go up, basically be like that roof. Hey, RZ guy is now following me. That is nice. <laughs> I don't see the person in the stream yet, but that doesn't mean that they're not following. So thank you for following if you're there. And so thank you for the follow drum XC. <laughs> hey, nice to have you around. It's good. It's great to have you here. Um, I just found out today how to use a reference layer so i am uh, i'm i'm fixing what i did wrong in the first time it was not so far off actually but i have to move everything a little bit just to make sure that everything is on par and looks nice and um, i resembled the rijks museum well because i found the building schematics so um, yeah um, that's what i'm doing right now so Happy you joined in, and uh, I hope you will stay for a while and enjoy what I'm doing. If you don't, that's also fine. I mean, cannot please everyone, right? I'm just uh, making happy little pixels, as uh, Captain Coder mentioned a while ago so eloquently. So this has to be wider. This has to be go higher. So I'm I'm going to have to do a little bit of rework here. Um, and this was, uh, like I said, new to me. I didn't know you could have that, the reference image uh, in your uh, A-Sprite. Oh, and uh, also, I don't know for you, you just came in, so sorry about the background noise every now and then. The neighbors are doing some work on their house. And yeah, it's quite annoying. It's really noisy sometimes. Fortunately, I think my kids are now both asleep, so... Um, that should be good. I wish I could have a line that goes like in Photoshop that I would just say like and there I want to have that line, but I can't. So how am I going to know if this is exactly at the same height? I know. I have an idea. And by the way, I see some mistake here that I better just fix. Why is that not working? Oh, because I have a selection. <clears throat> this is lower. For whatever reason, that is lower. Did that mean it went too high? No, I did not. For some reason, in the drawing, it's lower. But I don't care about the drawing. This has to be in balance, so I will balance it myself. If they don't balance it correctly, I will. So the easiest way I figure I can do this is just copy this part, which should be basically as wide as the other one and as high as the other one so there you go move it I would say this one is wider nice schematics that are not the same <laughs> ah, so nice since I believe very much in symmetry, I will create it symmetrical. <clears throat> wow, we are at four viewers at the moment. I'm very happy with that. Thank you all for joining. 
If you want to say something, feel free to. I would always like to hear your opinions. Also, if you think it's terrible, it's fine. I'm learning, so I can take it. I'm a big man. Oh, you're very welcome, Captain Coder. And uh, thank you for doing the same every time. It's very, uh, very nice of you also. And you're a very nice streamer to watch, let me add. For anyone who never uh, saw Captain Coder before, you should definitely, uh, definitely have a... wish I knew how to do shout-outs. Because uh, Captain Coder is a very nice uh, streamer who uh, is a teacher for kids to program. And uh, if you join his stream, every one of his uh, streams that he has, he will even sing you welcome. I mean, who does that? That is, uh, that is absolutely amazing. I was very happy to come into the, the stream the first time and being welcomed that way. Uh, that makes you feel very, very welcome. Um, if I could sing as well as he could, then I would do the same. <laughs> but I can't, so I'll have to do with my uh, soothing voice. <laughs> so I hope you appreciate that as much as uh, being sung to. <laughs> so... Let me see where I was, because I'm kind of uh, getting out of it at the moment. I have to draw that line all the way down. That was what I was doing. And obviously, I can't see shit if I do it too far. So, do it small pieces at a time. And yeah, Captain uh, truly is uh, one of the best. I mean, it's rare that you feel super welcome like that and um, just the fact that you're teaching kids how to program i am uh, i'm amazed with that that is super nice uh, my parents were both teachers when they were still alive they're both unfortunately no longer amongst us but um, because of what they were experiencing as teachers i never wanted to become a teacher my father always said that he was spending more time doing meetings than he did teaching anyone. And um, I believe it. Um, especially here in the Netherlands, uh, being a teacher means having a lot, and I mean a lot of meetings. Now, on the other hand, now that I'm a developer and technical uh, if a technical documentation writer, I cannot say I have much less meetings, really. <laughs> I also have a ton of meetings every day, and um, sometimes I'm wondering what the heck are all those meetings good for. But yeah, they seem to have a, a good reason, otherwise I'm sure they wouldn't do that. Or would they? Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they would do it anyway. I would hope they wouldn't, but maybe I'm wrong. Okay, so that is correct. That has to go there. This line has to go a little wider. So let's complete this. No, not there. No. And fill this up. Fill this up. Yeah, that is very nice. I'm sure you will have a lot of appreciation from the kids also. Uh, um, from what I know about kids learning programming usually they get very thankful if they get taught in a nice way and uh, what i heard from you in the in one of your streams is that you do the same kind of way that you're streaming you're also teaching so those kids are the luckiest in the world that's uh, that's how you want your teachers to be to um to show you the the world of programming in a way that is interesting fun and um yeah, you can be truly proud of uh, of that. That's a, a big accomplishment, really. <clears throat> Since now this is nothing special, I should be able to fill this up. I'm always worried that I somehow 
do too much. <laughs> Fill up the entire canvas. It's happened to me on several occasions that I just click a little bit too eagerly, like this, for example. It's connected somehow. So I should disconnect it first by drawing a line. And then I can fill it up. That is something for me that I really, because you're zoomed out, I really don't see it. <laughs> I feel like a, like a, like a noob uh, when I do stuff like that. Oops, I did it again. I clicked wrong. <laughs> Maybe I should feel like Britney Spears there. I don't know. Anyway, wrong color again. Um, and this color, and I want to fill. This, I want to fill that, there we go, and hoppa, that's gone. So now this is one uh, equal wide thing, what I expected it to be. Hey, half moon, uh, don't worry, <laughs> nothing is wrong with being, uh, being late if you're not a wizard. Only a wizard is never late, nor is he early, he arrives precisely when he means to. And how it's going, I can tell you and even show you. So um, at the moment, um, today I figured out for the first time how you basically use a reference layer. And then I found this awesome building drawing of the Rijksmuseum, which I'm now using to make what I did the last time a little bit more up to par with what the building actually looks like. The width was pretty much okay. Um, when I pasted uh, this uh, reference layer behind this, I found out that basically everything was in the correct place. The, the width of the entire thing was completely good. There's my, uh, as you can see, still on the right. My right uh, block was a bit too narrow. And this was a bit too big. Same goes for the other side. So that I'm fixing right now, hopefully making it look consistent and some heights were a little off, but seeing as I was doing it without a reference layer, I'm pretty proud of what it was already without using references. Because I basically was just looking at a photo and just guessing it. Didn't know I could do this, or I would have done that way earlier. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is basically get this part up to there, so I can have this roof, make the, the left side of this part go to this wall, so it connects, so then everything is more or less uh, the correct width, and I can start later, maybe today, I don't know, on creating the roof details, the windows, stuff like that, so I can make at least uh, the frames where they're supposed to go, and hopefully that will I'm really hopeful. <laughs> so far, everything is being uh, being nice, and this, yeah, like I told you guys in the last uh, time that I was streaming, it's pretty daunting to make such a big building building because you can go wrong so fast. And um, uh, I want to do the building also justice, so not just uh, recreate it, but it should really look like it, not like you feeling it. This guy doesn't know how to draw, which would be true, but we don't have to know that, right? Just look at this building and they should see uh, uh, a building that resembles what they know. <laughs> so let me go up with this. This goes basically here. And the bottom line is probably also wrong. It should go down. But I do find out, Health Moon, that I'm getting a lot faster with these things. So that that is, I think I should consider a good development. I am starting to understand how to quickly make my layers, how to uh, fill up gaps, but still make mistakes. Of course, that is uh, not so weird. It's also normal. And mistakes are good. Mistakes help you learn. So I don't mind. Let's move this part over to the top, to the top people. Let's get this in place. There. 
I think also the drawing, by the way, is uh, a little crooked. It's not completely straight. So sometimes I take my uh, artistic freedoms and just don't do what uh, what they did and uh, draw it a little different. But uh, it's all good. You have to find out how to improve your game. I'm sure you can make your game very nice. I'm going to have to catch you on a stream if you... Do you stream Half Moon? I don't know if I've asked that before, but if you stream, uh, let me know when, because uh, then I will uh, make sure I follow you and watch you one day. Maybe I already I had a week of vacation, so everything is lost in my brain. I'm sorry. If I did already and uh, I ask you already this stuff, feel free to uh, to, feel, to to feel, think I'm a bad guy that didn't pay attention. It's okay. I can take it. <clears throat> okay, so we need a little bit more of this, so I'm going to duplicate this, so I don't have to just draw that all again. And move it to the side. Basically, until... Here's the wall. That's the wall, right? Yes. So I have to have my double white line here. It's uh, basically correct. I can fill in. So, that is where you need to go. That is where you need to go. Happy little wall. Just a happy little wall. What I always liked about Gandalf, by the way, Half Moon, is uh, how he did with the fireworks and the Hobbit. That was, for me, one of the favorite parts. <laughs> I really loved how he just made a fool, basically, out of uh, out of that Hobbit, set and saying like especially the grumpy old ones that uh, were not so happy with the fact that he did the fireworks <laughs> and then he just lets it in their face <clears throat> thank you i'm uh, i'm i'm learning on the go as i uh, i said in one of my earlier streams because basically yeah um, i don't feel still like an artist i do what i can to make it look reasonable and I'm glad if it, in the end, will look like what. So, yeah. Right now, this uh, if you look at like this, then it looks terrible. But I know what it's going to go and uh, how it's going to look like in the end. Uh, what it's going to look like in the end. Shit, that was terrible English. <coughs> so, let's move this to be where it should be and that is there I think maybe I went a little too far let me see yep I did was it one pixel that I went too far it could be <clears throat> Okay, just see if my mute skills were up to par, because I tried to at least uh, not cough really, uh, really loud. For some reason, I don't think my eyedropper was working. That was not nice. Mm -hmm. oh. 
some surprise my eyes saw that there was just one pixel missing. That is uh, something. Okay. Still bothers me the most. Still too crude. It's uh, changing. It's click. Still using the wheel around. <laughs> Instead of uh, drawing again. It's not, uh, not how it's supposed to be, of course. like um correct You can't hear me anymore? Can you hear me now? Oh, that's good. Maybe I had my microphone a little bit too far away. I pushed it out of the way. Yeah, because it was too much in my beard. <laughs> And that's also not very nice, can they, you can hear my beard scratching the microphone, I don't think that's very nice for you guys. So, that should be this. <clears throat> now this middle part needs to go up to be on that line, basically. So... Let's go again with my favorite tool, the marquee tool. When you're zoomed in, I don't know about your PCs, but my PC just slows down like completely. And if it slows down, making a good selection is kind of tough. <laughs> it's uh tougher than I want it to be, basically. It should be the same place, so I'm going to put it there. So then I can fill this up again, and there we go. And the top should go higher than that. And I do not feel that this is balanced. It isn't. It isn't. And that's why you can see that the schematic is not correct. <coughs> Don't you just hate it when they make a schematic and it's not in symmetry? I need it in symmetry. And I guess you, Captain Coder, can relate, because basically as a programmer I want things to be perfect, not half good should be completely good. Completely the same or not at all. <coughs> it's also not as wide as the other side. Oh my goodness. There's nothing wrong with halves exactly when they're written with a V. But if my thing that I'm making is not a symmetry, I do not like it. I do not like non-symmetrical buildings. They should be in perfect symmetry. That's what they're made for, to be in symmetry. And they're not. 
this is this is so weird. It's a building schematic <coughs> of how the Rijksmuseum was built, and for some reason, it's not drawn in symmetry. So somebody didn't use their measuring tapes. Should be in perfectly centered, perfectly in the middle, perfectly there. It's not, and that bothers me. Maybe I'm too autistic. I don't know. I'm sure other people also get bothered by stuff like that. And let me see and if this building on the left is probably is also not symmetrical. Mm. Why do these people want to bother me? I don't like that. Don't bother me. Be good. Be nice. Okay, I'm gonna have to make sure that this building is as symmetrical as I want it to be. So, here we go. All the way down. And of course, it had to be one pixel too much that you select. Damn program. <clears throat> Let's be happy. Happy little trees. Happy little buildings. I'm okay. I can do this. There we go. So, everything that sticks out from this, sorry, it'll have to go. <clears throat> this on the line or did I just pass it? It's on the line. Perfect, perfect, perfect. See, and that's just what I need. Perfection. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, Arziga. Do I pronounce that name, by the way, correctly? Because I never know how to pronounce that. <clears throat> I see it all the time in Twitter and I have no clue if that is how you pronounce it or not. <laughs> I'm sure there's more people who have that issue. They just don't know how to pronounce names. But yeah, that's uh, with nicknames in uh, in Twitter and Twitch. Uh, people have sometimes very difficult names. And uh, I'm far from perfect, I would say. <laughs> but I do my best and I want you all to have your name pronounced properly. So... AZ, that's smart. I will remember that. Next time you're just AZ. It was a, it was a code editor or something that was called AZ, right? No, that's a, it's a PowerShell uh, module for uh, Azure <laughs> functionality. <laughs> AZ. <laughs> so now I'll always refer to you as a PowerShell module. I don't know if that's such a great idea. <laughs> well, it's not such a bad thing. They're, those modules are pretty powerful, so it's not bad to be referred to like that. Anyway, so the basic of this building is starting to look like something. You didn't know that? Oh, I'll teach you something new. Um, there used to be one called AZRM. It's for... Um, um, resource manager basically but it became deprecated so everything had to be uh, az module so um, look it up <laughs> so your name is something that is to, with powershell that you even work with so or worked with maybe not anymore anyway i think if i can make these towers work then i could start to um, turn off these reference layers I can make at least the, the, how do you say that, the, the points there. From there on I can work with the rest. And detailing is a lot, a lot of work, so. <clears throat> you're welcome, you're welcome. 
I'm all about teaching people, even though I'm not a teacher. <laughs> so yeah, now I can uh, also put that on my resume. I'm a teacher now. Woohoo! <laughs> Like I said in the beginning of my stream, um, my parents were teachers, so um, I thought about it for a bit to become one, and I really fastly threw that in the <laughs> in, in the bucket because uh, my parents were not exactly very positive about being teachers. It was not the greatest, they said. So why would you want to be something that your parents say is not very nice to be? So, I will now start to create those roofs. Um, basically what you see here um, on this end of the schematic is towers that are behind this front structure. So you would see those if you're on the back side of the building. Um, I will put them in, but it will come later. I don't think it's important for now. I first want to have these, um, these roofs, this one. Um, well, this basically is there. I need to put detailing, but that's all for later concerns. Then this roof, this roof, the detailing on this roof with a tower thingy or whatever that is. It uh, must be a statue. And this roof. And once those are there, I will look into detailing the front of the building and we'll, um, we'll start to, uh, um, start to put in the rest of the, the thing. Uh, the building and you don't you don't have to stay quiet huh? i can concentrate perfectly fine like i said once to uh to other people it's feeling also like i'm explaining this stuff to you so it also helps me think about it better um which is i think good because when i understand what i'm doing i make a better product so feel free to keep talking it's all fine <clears throat> everybody's welcome to talk that's what you have a chat for so I think I'm going to have this stick out just a little on the sides, so the roof, as I can see it on this drawing, is going until like here, and then it goes up. So basically I can create my reference points where I want it to be, and then, um, then create those roofs. I can basically copy that to the other side. That should be not too hard. So I'll first draw the the white lines, because the white lines are going to be my outlines for now. And maybe I will change the roof colors later, uh, the outline of the roof. Like here it's dark. Mm, I might do the same. I might not. I do not know. Maybe I'll put in shadowing. Uh, I'll definitely put in tiles and little details and uh, things like roof tiles. Uh, you can see here a little bit those, those lines that they have here. They're also in the real building. Um, I will later look also at a picture of the front of the building and see what kind of detailing you actually see so I can uh, recreate it to the best of my ability. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I feel always like uh, Pippi Longstockings. Uh, I've never done this before, so I'm sure I can do it. I will put it until here. I think that's good enough. So I'll put the same on the other side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and here we go. Symmetry is everything. So we can follow this line up. And basically go from two pixels away like that, let's start here and then go up all the way like until here and then go back down right next to it pretty good I'm happy with this yeah, sure, uh, Captain Coder. Thanks for dropping by. I'm very happy you were here, and good luck uh, giving your class. Um, I would be super happy if I had you as a teacher. <laughs> I think my programming would probably even be better than now. So, it's, uh, it's 
anyway, um, to anyone who's still here or gonna stay here, I'll be trying to create this roof and uh, then go to the next one. But yeah, I mean, it's been really helpful so far putting in this uh, reference image because without knowing this, it was much harder to be realistic basically in your in the in the roof I'm creating so this should go like here and then right there go back and right next to it then this top part is also a little wider than what we have here, so basically from here, one, two, three, four, looks like that's even perfect, so, but here it's again not, so I'll make it, one, two, three, four. have like a very intricate fence on the top of that. That is very hard to draw, I'm sure. Mm, I'm not happy with that, how that looks on the right side. I think I should have done it here. One, two, three, four. That should be better. I think it also looks better. Yeah, it's better. <clears throat> so, that basically already gives me enough to create a roof, and I will fill that in with this color again, so that my roof is basically consistent. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it has to be consistent. I, I hope you don't hear that, guys, because my neighbors are making noise again. <clears throat> if you do, I'm sorry. That's the only thing with me, I cannot plan this stuff better, because yeah, I don't know when they will work on their house. They do it sometimes every evening, and then other times they don't show up for a week. But yeah, I also have kids to take care of, so I cannot plan around it. I have no idea when things will be happening. Okay, so let me copy this entire area. Up until there, and I will copy this and put that on the other side. And yeah, I know this doesn't exactly fit the the, the drawing. I think this is correct, but I'm not 100% sure. So I'm going to have to do some counting here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Perfectly in the middle. What is that gray block? Ah, yeah, of course. I copied that part of the roof. That I shouldn't have done. Okay, well, doesn't matter. I can fix it. Erase. Sure, again, this can be done more easy than what I'm doing, but I don't mind. I like having to control myself, so. Almost there. I cannot exactly say fill it up with a, a, with no color. To, that would be a cool thing. But yeah, I guess I could have just uh, selected something at the end and then uh, just press delete. But 
Yeah, I didn't, so... could probably also flip it next time. I don't know. So I don't have that gray block there. Um, okay, those roofs are here, so now let's create the other ones. Again, stick out a little bit, then go up to the point, try to find the middle. That's going to be the challenge here, to find the middle. Because in this case I cannot rely on the, the image in the background because it's not exactly centered. But that's all fine. I got this. I got this. So I go again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think eight is a good number. It makes it nice. One, two, four, six, eight. There you go. Now I better calculate how many pixels we have here. Maybe I can do that. I think I can do that with the marquee tool. So that I can find the middle of this. I thought it would say something here. Why doesn't it say how big that is? I thought this selection would be... Hmm. I really thought that it would say that. Maybe it does, but maybe I just wasn't paying attention. Yeah, because... Ah, uh, yeah, you can see it. There you go. 159. That's horrible. Should have 160. <laughs> or do I have 160? No, I don't. So that means that this middle part is not even 143. Okay. <clears throat> I'm just going to ignore that ever happened. So 159, so that should mean half of that. Not 80, but 79 and a half. <laughs> Cannot do 79 and a half pixels, guys. That is impossible. Well, I guess I could do twice 79 pixels and then put my dot there. If only I could just, because here is the middle. Why can't? Why wouldn't I be able to just create a dot there and just make a line or something? That would be something. If I do that, how about that? Uh, now I don't see it, that sucks. I had the middle, but now I don't. That's a real big shame that you have to go. Anyway, it was nice to have you again, Hef, and uh, I hope you will, uh, will join again another day. And uh, I sure hope you will catch me the next stream. <clears throat> Let's see. How am I going to quickly calculate the middle, guys? Normally, I would say that's just a pretty easy thing to do, but here it's not so easy. <laughs> Why, Half Moon? I'm going to have to count the old-fashioned way, and I hate that. Um, but, I can always remove a pixel later, so I'll do it anyway. So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, probably is an easier way, but I don't know it, so 
44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60, 62, 64, 66, 68, 70, 72, 74, 76. So we're almost there, guys. Seventy-eight. So the next one should be in the middle, and I should have it twice. So I will just create a line going up. I have to zoom out, I guess, because there is no way that I'm going to do this all in one go in a straight line, because I cannot see. Is this straight? Looks like. So, <clears throat> move. There we go. All the way here. <coughs> Sorry, I had to cough there for a second and I didn't see it coming, otherwise, you would not have noticed. So, if those are the middle pixels and Yep, I, w I figured it would not go straight. Did it go more than one? Yep, two. Okay, so. That's okay. Well, then we know that we have to be here instead. The other lines I will remove after this. So, this should be a pixel. That should be a pixel. So, this one goes... <laughs> Here. And then I will go from here. To there. And since this will be a double line, I will go also from here. And nobody can tell me that the line tool is easier for doing stuff like this. I really don't believe it. Because how am I going to draw a perfect line in such a, well, I would say pretty complicated thing. Before I do this, this is where it goes. I will take that line off because this one should not be here. Um, eraser tool, there you go. So I don't get confused, basically, because it's pretty confusing to uh, to have that line there where it's not supposed to go. But not too bad. Take all these off. I mean, done worse. Did I just somehow put it in the wrong place? Yes, I did, right? Okay, well, that doesn't matter now because I can do it all again. Um, I'll erase this one because there's not supposed to be a line there. Ah, oh, yeah, that was of course my uh, my block to test if I'm in the correct place. <laughs> Sometimes I even forget that stuff. So, okay, so we're back in what we want, or what I want at least. I don't know if you guys want this. I want it. 
for zooming in because that's not handy. I'm already zoomed in way too far, I guess. But this is so damn high. <laughs> there you go. This should be it. And then from this one. We go here. And from this one. We go to this line. And normally I would not like that this is coming together with all those blocks together, but I honestly cannot say I mind. Anyway, let me get the roof color. I should be able to fill this up right now. There we go. I'm not unhappy about this at all. And I can make the detailing in that pretty easy. So, now that we have this roof, we can copy that again over to the other one. Um, let me be a bit exaggerated here. I need to have this roof correctly in place. So. And put it on the other one. You're too low. But that's not an issue. There you go. We have two similar towers right now. So, all in all, I'm pretty happy with what it looks like right now. It's getting better. I don't know how much longer I will stream today. I'm uh, pretty tired. Sounds stupid. I had just have a week of vacation, but with kids, that's pretty heavy. So I'm uh, not 100% ready to be working long times. But I think now the structure of this building is starting to look like actually is Rijksmuseum and that's what we wanted to achieve um, and the rest is going to be mostly detailing and uh, putting in windows, putting in arches, putting in all the stuff that needs to go here. So I think detailing I will do on a new layer so that I don't mess up this layer anymore. Um, I would say first I guess windows then one layer with details. So. I'm going to start at least to add a new layer, and I will call this details, uh, windows, windows. Rename, rename, where are you? Properties, windows. I'll make one also with arches. Oh. I think I was breathing a little hard, sorry. Arches. And then one layer for later and that will be called details okay <laughs> yeah it's not that I really want to go to sleep yet but I also should relax a little bit before I actually uh, call it a night as they would say um, because uh, otherwise I can't sleep I don't know how you are but if I'm constantly busy and doing things, um, I'm not rested. I cannot sleep that way. Uh, my mind is still doing things, so I just need to turn off my brain, not think about things anymore for a while, and then just uh, let it be. <laughs> uh, then I can sleep, usually. Not always, usually. Uh, lately, at least, I've been able to sleep a lot better, and that's very important for me, because... Uh, uh, while I was sick, I basically had seven weeks in a row where I slept no more than three hours a night. That totally wrecked me. And um, 
I'm still not 100%. Maybe you can hear it a little bit. I'm a little nasal sometimes. And I cough every now and then. Um, but I feel a lot better. And that's important. So, Anyway, I think I will leave it at this for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I am... Um, like I said before, I'm still learning how to do pixel art, and I think I'm getting better. I think I'm improving. There's uh, definitely a, a learning curve in uh, in creating good pixel art, and uh, I'm, I'm I'm also one of those stupid guys who doesn't start with a small character or something. No, I just take on the huge projects like building an X museum. That is a huge thing, and uh, I'm sure it will look very nice in the end in my game, of course, but. Uh, it's uh, a lot to do. <laughs> and uh, I basically enjoy that people are uh, having fun listening to me and and, uh, and and want to see me stream this. So, um, yeah, I'm, um, I'm for sure going to later also do the Unity part and uh, the programming part so you guys can also see the entire process. Uh, and I'm going to have to animate characters and stuff like that, which is also going to be daunting because that is even worse. I don't know how to animate anything. So uh, <laughs> you guys are going to have to bear with me and uh, maybe pick up a thing or two while I'm doing stuff so that you can learn it for yourself. If you ever want to create pixel art, just, uh, just have a look. And if you uh, want to see the stream from the beginning, uh, I will also post this on my YouTube afterwards, uh, probably tomorrow. And um, you can always watch it back another time. Anyway, I want to thank you for watching. I really enjoyed uh, having you guys in my stream. And I'll see you on the other one. Bye.